but there's shit out here we need to whoa don't go explore the outer edge they always like to hide stuff in games like this Ooh. Japanese role-playing games. Look, see? Tarnished silver coin. Anything else out here? Nope. Let's go into the center where we're not supposed to go. Don't go down there, she says. <sighs> this place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I should I close it up. A thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. <laughs> Even Celica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. Oh, yeah? Jump on in there. See how that works out. Can I go in there? Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> You're about to do terrible things. Jump down there. Yeti Slade. Game over. Nothing up here? Oh, here we go. Have of grass grows wild. Has a small value as medicine. Well, that makes me walk. Oh, God. Is there no way to, like... Warp back. Roll map, reset map, zoom in, zoom in. Whoop. No. No. Oh, look, there's more. You came back, my friend. Flip them up and then kick them. Take their chances away. Not bad, she says. Pretty sure I can just jump down here. Do it. Make the jump. Make the fall. Why can't I see that? What is it? It's a hole. Take a look. See. All right, fine. I'm gonna fight this turd. Get it. Here goes. Oop, you missed. Try to block. Get wrecked. Whoop! Sam! Why does she keep. Oh, I gained the level. Couple more meat. Why does she keep. Uh, what do I. Do I get to do something with the levels? Uh. Okay. Oh, give me a book. Quit my book. Player records. Nope. Okay. Uh. Net skills. Effects hidden malic and mystic art damage. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Whatever. Is there a spot where it tells you, like, your skills? Like, what... What skills are tied to what button? That would be... Wouldn't that be kind of important to your life? Right, here we go. What? 
sweeps out with a boot blade. Direction depends on the button setting. Y or A for forward. What? Control mode. Slicing foot. Sharp kick. Okay. What about control mode? Oh, God, I have no idea what that is. A, you decide. Huh? Why are they all the same? Tearing thorn. Oh, I can pick my own combo. You use the same button multiple times? I've been, like, using different buttons. A Z-shaped trail. Rising moon. Harsh rebuttal. Tearing thorn and our slicing foot. I think I maybe I understand it now. Can I get in a battle again? Let's try this. Right. How you? No, I'm trying to do it multiple times. Okay. I don't think you want to start with the rising. That was a good, good little test. Uh, let's change that up. I don't think we want to start with a rising moon. Start with a tearing thorn. Both a rising moon and a slicing foot to end. What were the other ones? I didn't even look. Oh, the other ones are all the same. Okay. Oh no. Oh, let's do this! Wait, the boars I hunted. Are you there? Oh, the pants. I'm so not sorry. Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. She, is she telling them that? Battle tutorial. Hidden arts focus on damage and attack range, but use more of your SG than martial arts. Searing edge is effective against beasts. Gain the advantage by exploiting your enemy's weak spots. Select arch from the battle menu and set searing edge to A. Okay, well, I just messed up. A hidden art launches a burning ring that is especially effective against beasts. Hold on, first we need to do... Let's set X as what I currently have. Arch rebuttal. Rising moon. Slicing foot. All right. And then we'll set this to Searing Edge. Shearing Thorn. Slicing foot. Let's do it. Okay. Right, here goes. Ow. Oh, I can't use any of the other ones? Woo! Lit you up, son! Correct. Woo! 
iki sen. Get wrecked. Oh yeah. Of course I did it. Searing edge. Oh, they're angry. Cirrus. An exorcist art. Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Can't help it. Hot. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Who the hell you talk to, stranger? Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. Yeah, prickle bores. Wreck you all. <laughs> Coming I'll to my world. I'll prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. I already got right. the money, brah. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? Nope. No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Damn, just brought Do you logic on our brain. I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Because they got places to be. They want to shit on your head. Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks, Hurry Arthur. back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. You consumed prickle bore meat times five. Why would I consume it? I wonder if those prickle bores were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. Hell no, we needed money. How would I pay for Laffy's medicine? Right, Hunting get your shit to together. That. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. Way to talk but it out in your own head. I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. Yes. Don't let that happen ever again. Type your inner monologue up. Hello, villagers. I have returned with greatness. Oh, I missed some. Hello? Oh, you still want to say the same stuff. I thought you might say something new since I came back. Groceries? Yep. And <laughs> you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. <laughs> oh, yeah? She's still in love. You want to do something about your style then? Whoa. Uh, yeah. I kind it's of impeccable. Broke my comb. So get a new one. No, who cares a shit about the comb? We got stuff to buy. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. 
Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. Oh, when is it coming, hells then? no. I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. Are you so sure exorcist. about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Oh, about to cut you. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? The oh, she's serious? very serious. Please. She's trying this to get prego around here. For me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? Wow. The important thing is my feelings. And my baby <laughs> I maker. Like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. Got apple gel times three. Luffy must be starving by now. I better hurry home. Better, but there's shit going on back here. Why, is it, why can't I talk to this dog? Oh. Orthy and Russ seem pretty down. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Uh oh. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. Uh. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them. I see. Why she got questions? No. Celica taught you how to make your special. Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Simple, yet elegant. Uh -huh. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You oh. should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. We could even wear matching uniforms. I will slap what the shit out of you. You ever say that again? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could Definitely. lighten up a bit in maybe. front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Luffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet! Dream! Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I want a peaceful ah. life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. Probably. Uh, hello? Nope. I didn't want to leave. I just hit down once. Why? Okay. Well, we're selling it. Type of grass, small value as medicine. Type of mushroom used in medicine, valuable enough to be worth gathering. We'll sell one of them. I don't know if we're supposed to sell both of them. Consumables, weapons, armor, rings, shoes. Materials. Got it. Good talk. Great. Good talk. Good seeing you. Damn it. Gotta get back home. Why do I live way up here? Off the path. Nobody else lives up here. My home. Yeah, go extra steps to get there. Uh, 
Uh oh, where are we going? Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, oh both of them. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Right. Oh, look. I missed that. Home free. Anything else I missed right around my home? I can't go in the side door. Hello, sickly. Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Now you're dying. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. Should be. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo! You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. Oh. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? I can. You get your ass in bed you now. You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. Oh, and nobody hurts me. Plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He <laughs> isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Uh, that little bastard. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. Oh, we're gonna no have to kidding. exorcise the demons from this child. Rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll you gotta stop being and sick. Chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. Taking like an eight year old wish, to battle with us. I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Luffy said. It should only take 10 years. Oh, 20 years tops. Uh, I said 10. It won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. <laughs> and take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. No trickeroonies. Right. Cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Oh, great. Do I look like a chef? Where's the stove? It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. Um, Velvet? Oh. Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. Mm. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but, but just for today... I agree with you, kid. <laughs> Fine, Spinach fine. does not belong. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. Oh. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Where your curry at? Oh, there we go. Anything else? Ah, just jump. <laughs> Why use the ladder? Oh, wait, I missed something. 
observations on the nameless oh, isn't this Arthur's book? His loft <laughs> poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. Okay. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. Oh, she's you were reading his journal. A fighter is Arthur. So I know those, but I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Is that Maybe too she athletic? should try to be more ladylike. Easy. Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? Little scamp. Where the hell's the stove? Didn't I not light it? What's going on here? I'm ready to cook. I already looked for spice on the second floor. Lion sack. Is that not what I picked up right there? There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today. And she had very important things to talk about. Who are we talking She's to? She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. Okay. I'm glad you've got a good friend. I'm talking to him from yeah. upstairs. We've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Yeah. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it. Boys right? like eight. A g girl? Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Whoa, oh, what's going on in this she's game? gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. I am perfectly Me? satisfied. I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've gotta cook for you and Arthur since Celica is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what's so... <laughs> you died. Luffy, what's wrong? Dying. <laughs> Coming. Don't die. Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. Oh. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you, too. Don't you? I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. Oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Yeah. Wasting time talking to that boy. Make food in the kitchen. Is that... Oh, okay. Chopping broccoli. Chopping broccoli. Mmm, yum curry. Back to bed you go. Good boy. You didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Are we out of medicine? Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet? May I sleep next to you tonight? Whoa, you gonna try and get me sick? Nope. Of course. Nope. Stay in your own bed, sicky. 